Welcome back, fellow traveler, to another episode of The Ruthless Awakening. I'm glad that you're here if you're listening first time. This is hopefully a weekly thing that I can do, depending uh, if life permits me to do it every week, and I'm sure it will. But last week I missed an episode because I'm currently in a very chaotic state of my life where I have to move to a new place, and I still haven't locked in a new place, so yeah, things get a little bit out of hand. Nonetheless, I do have a commitment to this podcast as well. It's something that I really want to keep on doing for a long time. So yeah, that's just a little bit about me. How about yourself? What's going on in your life? Let me know in the comment sections or on Discord, on Telegram, Reddit, no matter where you're listening to this, hit me up, you know. Let's just get down to business. I want to make this podcast be something that can provide extra benefit to anybody who's on this path of personal development, self-discovery. So I'm going to sometimes talk about things that people ask, but sometimes I think there are topics that's very important like today. Today we're going to be talking about the versatility of the breath for personal development. See, I would say psycho-spiritual development. We'll just keep it personal development for the masses. So why do I think that the breath is so important to master for personal development? Now, this might be a long episode, so I might divide it into different episodes, but uh, bear with me. We're going to go through these different sections, and if I reach the 10 minute marker, I'll cut it off and we'll continue in a a follow up episode. All right. So now that that's out of the way, let's get down to business. So why is the breath such an important thing for personal development? Let's begin with the basics. The breath is both an automatic process and a manual process. And what this means is that you don't need to think about breathing to breathe. However, when you do think about breathing, you can manually override the process. What this does is it creates a well-established bridge, a link between the conscious and the unconscious mind. And by observing and becoming mindful of both of the active and the passive breathing patterns that you do throughout life, you gain an additional layer of reflection on the self. Like you're basically playing with the factory settings of the self that allows you to just have deeper insights and more direct control towards your behavioral responses because you're able to fluctuate between active and passive states. You're able to mitigate certain automated feelings and override it with the breath. You can even override disease, which uh, we'll get in at a later stage. The point being that just when you become mindful of both of these processes, you gain significant insight on the self and so active breathing is basically breath control it's uh where we're dealing with the intensity the frequency and even the volume of the breath and other variables like uh, whether you're breathing through the nose where you're breathing into the belly into the chest um, how long you're holding the breath hold are you holding the breath hold that's what active breathing is all about And when you do these different type of patterns, you'll notice different effects. Like if you're doing a Wim Hof style breathing, you'll achieve a certain effect. However, if you do sort of transpersonal style breathing, a whole different ballpark, completely different thing. And I think a lot of people are are unaware that there are actually so many different versatile aspects to breath work in general that they're just like they find one and they stick to it and they're like oh this is the one that works for me but the breath is sort of like the baseline it's the it's the water in the ocean and when you understand how to manipulate with the properties you can start creating some interesting results in your own life but anyway that's active breathing passive breathing is simply observing the normal way that you breathe but more than that it's also about uh, acknowledging where you're breathing wrong 
and then making these corrections within your passive breathing states. For example, breathing the yoga complete breath, which is basically filling up the diaphragm and then the midsection and then all the way to the top, just a complete full lung expansion and then letting it go slowly and controlled. Uh, this type of breathing, if you do it, it keeps your, your lungs active. It keeps you engaged in this moment and it keeps you optimally oxygenated. It just gives you an edge over life. So when you start correcting for example, just starting to nose breathe as a default mode will already increase your performance if you're currently mouth breathing. It's just the, the simplest hack, but just doing that will just totally change your life. But that's just one aspect of, of passive breathing. Another aspect is that it starts delivering valuable insight on what's happening inside and around you. If you start noticing that your breath changes when you're stressed and you're breathing more shallowly in the chest and not into the diaphragm, and you start becoming aware of these changes, you can quickly intervene and correct these passive moments. Like you can sort of have a trigger warning for a panic attack before it even happens. You just know, oh, you know what? I'm starting to lose my shit. So let me go and do this one type of breathing to reset myself. And so when you understand how to start noticing these minor shifts in your breathing patterns, that's when you really start gaining some significant mastery over the self. You start becoming less enslaved by your emotions. You start getting less enslaved by the automated expressions that happen in your lives every single day. All right, you know what? I think we're going to cut it here because there's still a whole lot more to go and we're almost hitting the 10 minute marker. So I foresee that this is gonna be a two or a three episode extravaganza. If you like this talk, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and do some of the breath work and engage with yourself because that's the whole purpose of this channel is just to create instances where you can engage with the self where you can explore the vastness of your own being and go the distance whatever that means for you but anyway i'm gonna call it here thank you for listening follow the podcast on wherever you're hearing this podcast follow the channel and uh, drop a comment let me know what's up. Let me know if you like this and if you want more and if you want different stuff. Because I ain't going away. And that's just facts. Anyhow, I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Ruthless Awakening. And if you want to keep on going further, do this video right now. <laughs>